with the green sunglasses. Right there, you got number one. Now, what you got to do is you got to get everybody over here to help you root for number one, Ziggy. Yeah, right? we want number two. Number two. So we're going to root for number two over here. Oh, uh, look there. How about down there with the white long sleeve shirt? You got number two. Right, we got this. We got this. Over here. Who wants to root for number three? We got number two. All right. We got to root for number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. In lane number one, we have Dale Oinkart Jr. In lane number two from California is the Piganator. Whoa! And in lane number three, it's Justin Bieber Q. <laughs> now, folks, like I mentioned before, the louder you cheer these piggies on, the faster they are going to run. So let's check out our cheering section one time. Let's go for number one, Biggie. We gotta go out. Right, not too bad. Let's give it up for number two. <laughs> Here at number three, you better run this time. Sharon, are these piggies ready to go? She says these porkers are hot to try. So when the bugle blows, ready? We gotta go. Ready? We gotta. We gotta cheer. Pigs like you see back on the farm. Only difference between our piggies and the ones you see back on the farm is we sent our pigs to school. You see, we sent our pigs to the University of PIG up in Fort White, Florida, where they go through a two week training program. We start training our piggies when they're four weeks old. By the time they're six or seven weeks old, they're ready to race. Now, these porkers coming out next are the youngest of our piggies. These piggies here. About three and a half, four months old. <laughs> These big here just been racing for about three days now. We're gonna see how they do here today. They're still a little shy. Come on there, guys. Let's go lower up. Now, these pigs aren't used to having the numbers put on their backs yet, so Sharon's going to put different colors on them so you can tell them apart. So if we pick you, please try to remember your piggy's color. We're going to start lane number one with black. Anybody over here on the roof of black this time? I mean, you want to go for whatever? No, I'm about to have it up there in the back, the guy with the blue uh, yeah, Spider-Man shirt. You got black. Lane number two is white. This one has Spider-Man. Oh, that's there. How about down there with the red shirt, bottom row? That's you, buddy. And you got white. Oh, white. We're white. We're color white. Color white. Yellow over here. Who wants to look for yellow? How about right down here on the bottom row with the black and red? And green over here. Oh, let's see here. How about the guy up in the back there with the black hat? White, 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 white. In white. lane number one this time, we have Lindsay Slowham. <laughs> In lane number two, it's Brittany Sparrows. <laughs> In lane number three, it's Kim Kardashian. Oh. <laughs> and in lane number four, it's Taylor, not so swift. <laughs> All right, let's check out them tearing starts again. 
Let's up for the black biggie. I'm not gonna cut it. How about the white biggie? you folks down there on the end to watch out this time. These pigs had a four pig pile up over there earlier today. <laughs> Ready? We got this. Big little Bryson in hand, folks. Thank you, Mr. Bryson. Thank you, buddy. Great job. Now, I'm sure you all heard stories about pigs. Pigs have a very bad reputation, and it's not deserved at all. I'm sure you've heard the expression, dirty as a pig. I don't believe it. Pig is a very clean animal, given the opportunity to be so. The only reason the pig gets dirty back on the farm is they have no major sweat glands. So when it gets hot, they have that way to cool off. So they roll in the mud. They'd much prefer a swimming pool like we have here. But how many farmers can afford a swimming pool with their piggies, right? Let's give it up for the cleanest pig in show biz. Robinson Paddling Porter. Come on, We want you to be this person. Would you give me the medal? Now these piggies here are the oldest of our pigs. These pigs here are about five and a half years old. These pigs are Vietnamese pup belly pigs. These pigs are going to run up by Oingathon this time. They're going to take off out of the gate, run up the ramp, and hopefully dive into the swimming pool. They're going to swim 24 feet to the end and go from that to Astoria. This time we started lane number one with blue. Who'd like the roof of blue? I want to be the third one. The next shoot is Spot. Good luck, the roof. Now, back down there with the red shirt, bottom row. We want you to be the next one. We want you next. In the next shoot is White. Right here. Next one. Uh, shorts with the yellow shirt. And in the last shoot is Red. Get up, get up. guy there with the orange shirt. We got the red pig. And lane number one this time. We got oh, Kelly he's shaking his head. And lane number two is Soggy. He's Bacon. shaking his head. No, I and don't want to race. Number three from Orlando, Florida is Spamu. He's shaking. He's and in lane like he number four, race. Tsunami Salami. Oh, it's right, it's just so funny how he's not. On the diving he's, platform. He's, Let's lock him splash.
You can come around this way if you'd like. I'm going to cry. How was yet? I'm going to cry. Look at the baby. Oh, look at the baby pig. Oh, baby pig. All right, what's your name? Oh, yeah. Everybody, let's give our stick rooter Jay in a hand, folks. Thank you, Jay. Would you folks like to see him swim one more time? Yeah. All right, we got one more set of pot belly pigs. We're going to see if we can get them out here this afternoon. Now, a lot of times people ask us how we got started in pig racing. We started racing pigs about 35 years ago at the Florida State Fair. They wanted something different for the fair, so we come up with the pig races, and we've been doing it ever since. We've been racing here at the Florida Strawberry Festival. It's our 34th year here at the Strawberry Festival. Wow, man. We'd like to thank you folks for coming out to see us every year at the festival. Now, these folks are coming out this time. About a year and a half old. These pigs have been swimming for over a year. Come on there, guys. Let's see if we can get you on this one. This time we're going to start with black over here. Who wants to move with black? I'm up there in the back room with the white and blue shirt. Wait. Got to jump over there. Got to jump. Lift her up. Yellow is in lane number two. Uh, let's see. I'm on my stone there standing on the bottom row of the bleachers with the pink shirt. Get a whole lot of help. We got blue. Green. On the bottom row with the blue shirt. Green. Jump! And blue over there. Now let's see. Now the guy with the black shirt with the blue. Uh, Johnny yeah. over no. there. Blue. 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 In lane number one. We have SpongeBob Book Pants. Yay! <laughs> in lane number two, it's our bathing beauty, Spamala Sue Henderson. In lane number three, it's Shaken Bacon. And in lane number four, we have Tidal Wave. All right, let's watch them splash. Now, we would like to mention, after the races are over, right over here on this side of the track, we do have some pig paraphernalia for sale. We have these little stuffed piggies. These are four dollars, well, and we also have old pig noses for three. We'll have these available after the race is over. Come on, there, guys. Let's go swimming. <laughs> Demonstrations for this time. We hope y'all enjoyed the Robinson Racing Picks. 